and we'll go to the Browns. Payo against only three defeats. Cincinnati always went with the green before, but he said to move Chez around the ring. Apprehension on the part as well. Application to the training regimen that goes into a fight like this. Chez said he'd been running six to ten miles a day, running on mountain trails. Stewart with a left hand. Chez Listen. bounces off the ropes. Short right hand to Chez in the up. Prince Charles trouble early. Beer. Johnson in toward a Prince a little bit, and he really feels that he has something to prove. Hasn't yet worked the bio either. Showing that they know what they do. They're very evenly matched. Left hand and the right hand. Every time Leslie Stewart gets hit with a good shot to the head because he's been knocked out in the last fight. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Chez will keep an eye. Come down till the end of round number one. Bobby Chez using the, the left to get in there to throw the fight. Stewart continues to work. Margin. I gave it to Chez because of the body work he had done. But here in this round, Chez kind of backed Stewart up. Just when I was going to say, Leslie Stewart's really boxing well. And he came back with a right hand and a left. These two are made. are perfectly meshed for that. Stewart does not want to be on those ropes. That's where Lalonde got him in trouble. And jab. And even a look. Lalonde of his life in duty was working his jab to get in. And then throwing combo. Stewart should be giving him a little more movement. Doesn't have to be moving the way. Hmm. Stewart is squandering what was a very good beat. He's been very lethargic, not throwing many punches here in the, the latter portion of round. Stewart has put that jab and walk away toward the end of this round. Chez. The Chez hook, that was to me. Um, and one doctor told him the fighting days were over because it would hemorrhage when it gets hit. But this, he says everything in his life. He feels a lot more comfortable. There's a lot of mucus. His problem isn't there anymore. Stewart, right hand. Well, there's the right that I talked about. Now, when Chez is in there, he's got to be wailing with the hook to the body they want to do. And which one will really get it done overall? Exactly what their fight plan calls for. That time it was Chez with the right. And another. Stewart in the corner, and he wants to get out of there. And he backs him up with a jab. Stewart, the jab and the straight right, and it's Chez mostly with the hook and an occasional right. And really, Barry, it's harder and will hurt the other guy. Who can throw them over a lot. So far. There are rounds, by the way, that I think this round he seems to be a little bit. Those three punches by Chez. See, in body moment, he's been, <laughs> you know, the body work by Chez and those big bombs he landed. Like right hand, and that definitely shook. Less effectively, after he heard, heard it. And that other. Well, Chez saw the Lalonde and get in. A little bit of that punch. Is Chez's jab, and it jabbing his way in very much. Could become so. That was the first round. There's a counter right by Stewart again. And he took a straight right hand in return. Here's what he decided he would probably. Oh, that's where Chez needs to finish off. What I'm upset about him is that when he does get. The body. He was before and he stopped. Gesture. In this case, it was Bobby Chez. The left hook at the start, it's the right of really good combinations from Chez. Punching the combination. He's hurt him and he got tired and it wasn't. That's exactly true. And so it makes him a little more aware. Get these combinations going. See there. He's just gonna, hoping one will hurt somebody and get him in trouble. We used to see knock people out. Hasn't in the last few fights. He hit Hill with some good ones. He hit Lon with some huge right hands. Huge right hands. But Lon didn't go in those same punches and not getting the desired effect. Good hooks by Chez. Body to the head. Come right off a layoff of their life, and you have a tennis. Exactly what he said, and that is a lot of miles on the road and a lot of round. I think he's conditioned. He's thrown lots of punches. There's a right hand by Stewart. That might have been his best. It stopped Chez in his tracks. And, and he got a little wild there. That's what Chez does. Or four and one even. 
This, of course, the sixth round. Stewart trying to stay busy, but doing minimal damage here. I'll tell you what's starting to happen, though. Bobby Chez's technique is not as good as it was two rounds ago. And I say that because that's the first sign sometimes of, of fatigue and tired. And he's, it's not that he's still not throwing, but the punches are a little wider, not quite as short. And Stewart taking advantage of that a little bit now. It is Chez with his back to the ropes now. I bring him pretty good. The Williams fight. Fight in recent fights where Bobby after confessing this particular <laughs> during this late Frank Capuchin took three points away from against Darren Chandra and ended up being a draw. All points starting to do exactly we'll be a right hand in and then comes with the left. To <laughs> take a look at this. So I've got him inching back and well, the jab is there for Leslie Stewart. Now, that's what Chuck Callahan was telling him. He said, oblige him. He's right there for the jab. Land this round so far. Up the pace now. And remember I said earlier what an important thing that is for him. Right hand by Chez, but it was a lunging right hand. Bobby Chez is pushing his punch ahead. The last two rounds, Bobby... And because of that, he's losing punch. Once again... And every time Bobby punched, the crowd reacted. Pretty hard to figure how Leslie Stewart is in the head at this point. And we've had a headbutt. Chez just heard that. It was one in the last round, too. Off those ropes. Perfect. Well, in a round that otherwise was dominated by Stewart, up a little bit. Well, Leslie Stewart took some bombs. To try and get in there. Center of the ring. Jab. Confident. It's, look, it's Chez against the rope. That was a good right hand. Back with a couple shots there. Stewart is not that accurate with that jab. He's throwing a lot of them, but they haven't been as accurate as he would like. Put much on the fact that this fight would put... look like an un making it a much closer round. You're losing the first part of it rather decisively. He's making Stewart miss. And starting to wing those left hooks. Stewart hasn't been very sharp this time. And there's the right hand out the first thing. The right hand's going, but... <laughs> Neither man really as sharp as he has been at other times. Definitely not. And uh, it's just a question of which one you think did the best work. There's a right hand. Down goes Chen. Perfect shot by Leslie Stewart. Or lack thereof, well, this time it got the job done. Right on the jaw of Bobby Chez. We'll get Stewart. Nine, and this one you have an idea once again. Bob and I have seen some unusual things in the last few weeks. Yes, boy, it that is good. Boxing, mixing in enough of the right hand, and Chez, a little fatigued, not as sharp with his point landing. Stewart just fighting like a very competent fighter. Slipped the right Keeping the jab. And another combination, three-punch combination. And the jab, the key to all this for Leslie Stewart. Uppercut and a left hand behind that. Chez battles back with a right hand. Bobby is wide open when he comes in like that, but he almost is forced to do that because otherwise he'll just be target practice for Stewart. Stewart again, and another combination with a right hand. Stewart is trading with Chez. It might have been dangerous early. Right now, it's working for him, and he stuns Bobby Chez with a right hand. And Stewart says, I'm okay, come on. Wow, what a round nine. Oh, my. Chez scores with another right hand. That might have hurt. Confused, they, ba they banged the, the, court, the hammer. He thought it was the bell. And the end of round nine, and what a three minutes of boxing wow. that was. All come down to this. Take a look at this. And against Bobby. Tenth and final round. Here's your card, Al. I have Stewart ahead by one. I gave him the last round. I don't know how you could not. Big right hand by Stewart. Doing now, he's setting down on those punches. He, when he throws those right hands, they were. Oh, my, what a good effort. Yes. And in a way, 
in a way, it's a shame. And I'm sure Bobby Chess will go home and say to himself, why didn't I fight like this against Prince Charles Williams? Why didn't I fight like this against Virgil Hill or Donnie Lawan? Well, it's proof that they did get them. Bobby Chess has faded a lot in the end of this fight. And he probably should be in a lot more tired than Stewart, I think. Well, Stewart looks like he is. It's just it's what he needs, body in the head. So those shots come out of the authority that Chez had with them earlier. And it's because his technique isn't there. But Stewart now starts... Seconds left in the fight. Right hand by Stewart, right hand by... Will decide the winner of this fight. I'm... The crowd, of course, very much into it on Bobby Chez's behalf. Stewart trying to use his speed. Chez working the body. And... Fain's being hurt. Bobby Chez. I really expect a split decision here. Right hand by Chez again. And maybe he's he won the 10th round. Terrific fight. Wow. Great fight here at Atlantic. Leslie Stewart at his best in this fight. Now here, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe toward the end. And uh, it was Stewart with the counter right hand and Chez. Split decision. Bobby Chappie Chez.